This video is designed to give you an overview of how I connected my Raspberry Pi set up as a wireless access point to a Sphero RVR. I was pretty excited when Sphero announced that they were creating the rover. Uh, one of the big things I like to do is to be able to use a prototyping platform for my students to be able to extend their knowledge of robotics by being able to create their own componentry. And the Sphero RVR is certainly promising to be able to do that very well. The first thing I did uh, is, as soon as I got one out of the box is to download um, the cover from Thingiverse, uh, from the Sphero actual username on Thingiverse. And I then manipulated a bit so I could actually put a Raspberry Pi on top and put some uh, anchor points on it. And it worked straight away, uh, which was fabulous. But I did have a bit more trouble uh, that I would like connecting up my Raspberry Pi to the Sphero Rover. So here we go. Number of steps involved in this. Uh, step one, fresh is best. I installed a brand new uh, Noobs install onto my Raspberry Pi SD card. Um, I just like to use Noobs, it's just easier. Um, and I'm not really fussed by pretending that I need to use anything more than that. I then went through once it was installed and enabled the interfaces and I enabled everything uh, simply because I want to use pretty much all of that anyway. Um, so I definitely want to use the camera um, and I definitely want to be able to use SPI and I, uh, I2, um, I2C. So I just enabled everything uh, and then press OK and restarted it. Once I'd done that, I plugged in a LAN cable into my Sphero RVR and I wired up my Sphero RVR. Wiring up the Sphero RVR is pretty simple, although I have discovered that you can't power it off the GPIO pins uh, because once the motors actually start winding up, it will restart the Pi. You do need to plug in, unfortunately, um, the USB cable to power your Raspberry Pi. Um, it seems to be a bit more protected on the Sphero side from power surges and power dips when the motors cut in. I then did an update and upgrade of my um, of my Raspberry Pi. You do that in the terminal by typing in sudo apt-get update, and then you type in sudo apt-get dist hyphen upgrade. I advise you not to do what I did the first time, which is to do it off the Sphero's power. Uh, the Sphero was actually low on battery when I started and it ran out halfway through, which meant I had to go back to step one and redo it all in the install just because it wasn't going to work very well for me. Once I'd done that, uh, it worked quite well. I'm now going to turn my uh, Raspberry Pi into a wireless access point. On the Raspberry Pi, I actually went into the Chromium browser and searched up Raspberry Pi WAP. Uh, came up with that website down there, which is the raspberrypi.org website, on how to set up a wireless access point. You need to read the instructions very carefully. If you don't know how to uh, use Nano uh, in the terminal on your Raspberry Pi, um, or if you haven't done that sort of thing before, I advise you that this is going to take you a while and it's going to be a bit frustrating because the instructions on the Raspberry Pi website assume that you know a little bit about how to use Nano and how to edit things um, and they're not totally consistent but they do work. I copy and paste from one to the other as much as I can um, so that I actually have um, less typing to do and I don't make any mistakes at all. The next thing to do is to install the Sphero SDK. Um, so I did this on my laptop using VNC. So once I actually set up the wireless access point, I then connected from my laptop to that Wi-Fi network and I used VNC. Because I had it plugged into uh, the LAN cable at that point, I had full internet access, which means that I can use the Git clone to um, clone the Sphero SDK onto my uh, Raspberry Pi. The, exact, uh, the advantage of doing it that way is that I can then type in git pull at any point in time and it will basically update any changes that Sphero have made to their SDK. The 
The next step was to go into this Vero uh, SDK uh, folder on the terminal by typing in cd Sphero hyphen sdk hyphen s uh, raspberry pi hyphen python and then running the first time setup using that command there uh, that took a while and i'm not sure exactly what it did because it didn't seem to install all of the dependencies that i wanted which i was sort of disappointed from it should really run from this point but when i actually load it into um, uh, thony python and started running it it had some errors so we needed to test it by uh, opening up a already run script in Thony. So I went into the Sphero SDK uh, Python library from Thony. I opened Getting Started. I opened Observer. I opened LEDs. And I opened the file called Set All LEDs. When you first turn your Sphero on, the LEDs will sort of fade in and out for different colors. This program is supposed to set it so that it just stays consistently on red. And when I ran it, I got a number of errors, and this got very frustrating trying to fix it, but eventually I got through, and there are four things I needed to do. So the first error I got was no module named AIO HTTP. So I had to go on and terminal, and I installed pip3 install AIO HTTP. Uh, that took, uh, you know, about a minute. And then I went back into Thony Python and ran it again. And this time I got no module named serial underscore async IO, um, which was a bit frustrating because you can't just go install serial async IO with underscore on it. I tried that and it didn't work. I tried a number of things. I eventually found out that you have to do pip3 install pi serial async IO. IO with a hyphen, not an underscore, and that was um, uh, that took a, a, another couple of minutes to install that. Uh, I then ran it again from Thony, and I got another error. This time it said cannot import name serial from serial, and I could not find anywhere on the internet which would help me with this. Eventually, I read through every single script that it was referencing and found out that I needed to install Pi Serial, which was actually already on my uh, already on my install, uh, but I needed to uninstall the old version of Serial, and that works. I hope I don't need to use Serial again. It then brought up the final error that I had, which was um, a, a fairly simple one for me to fix, because if you can't open a port, it's usually a permissions thing, and it even says permission denied. So I needed to change the permissions using the, the ch mod, uh, and I set them all to 777, and then I was able to run the program. It then said checking firmware versions, which was awesome to see, uh, and then my, um, uh, my rover went red, which was awesome. I then played around with the program, and as you can see in the video here, I had it flashing a range of different colors, using the code uh, and I'm now able to change the code and write my own programs to control the Sphero.